Good evening, friends. This side, Rahul Mogan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a venture capitalist. So, starting today, which is 28th October 2019, practically on the night of Diwali, we are going to be shooting a pretty important video about a topic which is the mashup. As you very well understand that, uh, if you would have uh, fond of the movie, uh, basically songs like on MTV and all, there is a uh, word which often used which is a mashup. Mashup, mashup with remix and without remix. I don't have instruments to play remix, else I would have surely, but without having instrument, I am going to be have a mashup for you. So what happened, the biggest habit of the life is always reading one business newspaper in a day. And eventually, if you get time, you should read the books as well. That is a very good habit. If you start reading one business newspaper in a day and one book in a month, which is practically 12 books in a year, then your knowledge would be very high. But unfortunately, we are sparing a lot of time in unproductive, in unproductive stuff which do not allow us, allow us to read books. And result, the knowledge level is always an issue. But anyways, so today I'm going to be doing a mashup in which we're going to be speaking about four different things. Number one is what something which not which not only envisaged by us but also started happening. Now part one of the mashup. <clears throat> we saying from the last so much time that the venture capitalist industry in India is going to be messed up, and that is something which is happening. We have already said that the number of deals which is coming in India is more or less same. The top 5-10% people are getting a lot of funding. Now this being clarified by a news by our media as well. Now this is the newspaper you can see. This is 21st October 2019 newspaper. I never throw any newspaper. Lot of quotations is being read from that as well. So you can see that. 21st October newspaper, investors now wary of funding startups. Okay, now see this. The economic slowdown in India and the global macroeconomic uncertainty seems to have prompted venture capitalist investors to take a cautious approach after, after plugging in record amount of capital so far. Now it is said that startups have raised record 6.8 billion in the first nine months in India compared to 5.8 billion earlier. However, the significant amount of the funding is, is, is basically selected. So basically the people, those who are recipient are the more or less the same. Not everybody is getting a chance to participate in the startup ecosystem. But apparently very important thing which we got to know is that, however, the large momentum has been driven by the selected investors. We know that Indian VC market is of selected investors, just like SoftBank, Sequoia, KKR, Tiger Global, naspers and all i think it's less than 10 maximum 20 we have however the momentum has largely driven by the selected investors including tiger tiger global management which has deployed more than 500 million this year tiger has made it very clear that follow-ons of this investment are not guaranteed not the words and the firms it has backed now it will follow an investment from the tiger only if they perform exceptionally well more important thing which is coming that the cautious approach is also triggered by the lackluster performance of the several st uh, profile startups just like Uber, Lyft, WeWork and all. While if we read this very carefully, there are a lot of uh, eventualities which are also coming up now. Let's take a look, which is that many of the growth rounds are taking longer to close. Now, Tiger Global is a forum which used to give checks on Skype calls. So if you would have a call on the Skype with a partner and if you are able to convince him on a Skype, you will get a check. This is how Tiger Global used to work. But now see, many of the growth rounds are taking longer to close. Diligence periods are getting extended as well as time taken for documentation due to complex cap uh, table rights on the previous round. Said, which said Vinod Murli, partner at the LTG Capital, a debt, uh, venture debt fund. You know, and this is this, uh, what he said that the diligence is taking too much amount of time. Now, the global funding fell 7% in the quarter third 2019 from 52 billion to 50 billion. As slower venture capitalist investment in the US dragged the global funding number down. 
डील वॉल्यूम टू फेल 16% टू 1304 ट्रांजैक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू द रीसेंट रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम मार्केट इंटेलिजेंस प्लेटफॉर्म सीबी इनसाइड्स अलोंग विद द कंसल्टेंसी फॉर्म व्हिच इज पीडब्ल्यूसी द स्लो डाउन इन द यूएस केम एट अ टाइम व्हेन द टेक आईपीओ स्ट्रगल टू मेक अ मार्क ओनली 22 वीसी बैक्स टेक आईपीओ वेंट पब्लिक इन द थर्ड क्वार्टर विद 33 प्रीसीडिंग विद 33 प्रीसीडिंग 3 मंथ्स नाउ सी दिस फंडिंग इज गेटिंग डाउन Global funding fell by seven percent. Indian funding grew by one billion dollar, but the recipients are only the top. We also know that majority of the not majority over ninety five percent of the startups are in losses. Today I was reviewing two startups, one in Singapore and one in India. I don't want you to name them, but I give you guess. Give you guess. One startup in Singapore I was reviewing is about a platform which help people to sell anything, basically the second-hand products in Singapore. And you would be surprised to know that they are having annual revenue of seven million dollar, but the loss is around twenty-six million dollar, which is approximately four times, closer to four times. Which means on every dollar they earn, they lose four dollars. That's what their loss is. I was reviewing one of the furniture startup portal here in India, and I got to know that they have a revenue of around what 12 crores, and with a loss of 48 crores, which is four times, exact four times. Which means that on every rupee of of revenue, they are losing rupee four. Now the moral of the story is very clear that we were that SoftBank is also facing a lot of issues. They are they are now they need to amortize. They need to. Write off. I don't know because I'm not very much confident about how they're doing the accounting. But I have no trust left on the SoftBank accounting as well. After the WeWork scandal, they need to write. They need to write off the WeWork, and it is being said in the public domain that the minimum write off would be around seven billion dollars, between five to seven billion dollars. And if this write off would continue, then the SoftBank will lose lot of money, and God knows from where they would be recovering the money. This is part one of the mashup wherein the startups in India is now getting the heat, but the media is representing this in such a way that everything looks rosy. Now, part two. Today I was talking to one of my friends in Google Pay. He is at a very senior position, and we were talking to each other about it. How that how is the philosophy of the Google Pay? I was just wishing him Diwali, and he told me that now Google is a very cash rich company. I agree. Google having deep pockets. I agree. He said Google is a company who is not completely dependent upon this Google Pay business. Rather, they have a search engine business, they have advertisement business, they are into the phone business, and they have a lot of businesses. I agree. Many of you do not know know that the way Google manage their cash is exemplary. He said Google is coming up with lot of innovation in the Google Pay and. Google is doing advertisement in a very best way. Now, if you would have looked the advertisement model of the Flipkart and the Walmart, you would have know that they hired almost all celebrity like Deepika Padukone, Virat Kohli, Amitabh Bachchan. Three I saw. I think Alia Bhatt also. Fourth I don't know. While if you look at the advertisement model of American companies, especially Amazon and especially Google Pay, they never hired any celebrity. is amazon is cannot hire virat kohli can amazon can amazon uh, can't hire alia bhatt amazon can hire any celebrity in hollywood any celebrity to advertise themselves to advertise for amazon flipkart spending thousands of crores or maybe several crores while paying the endorsement fees to these brand endorsers which include virat kohli amitabh bachchan alia bhatt Of uh, Deepika Padukone, few I saw there would be many, maybe Ranbir Kapoor, God knows. Now the question is that this money can be invested in technology or this money can be invested in the right way. Now mashup number three. While reading, because we are currently doing a deal for NHAI, National Highway Authority of India, we reached to this section of National Highway Authority of India, 21st October newspaper, part three of the mashup. We suggest monetization of the National Highway Authority of India. Fourth, TOT. TOT. TOT stands for Toll Road Toll Operate Transfer. 
bundle faces legacy issues now take a hold go five years before not five take three years before maximum three years before with due respect Nitin Gadgari was considered as a prime minister of India well I am not saying how come he never end up as a prime minister of India this is a political issue I am no one to decide neither I am interested but Along with Nitin Gadkari, National Highway Authority of India was considered as a jewel for India. And it was said that National Highway Authority of India is doing a wonderful job. In fact, Prime Minister himself, in majority of the species, uh, majority of the speeches he delivered within and outside India, he stressed on the fact that the government is very dedicated to create, to extend the road network and Nitin Gadgari, in fact, in my front, in CII, Confederation of Indian Industries, acknowledged that they're making roughly 42 kilometer of road in a day. Now, today, it is 42, 32 or 22, I don't know, but it is less than 32, that I know. Reason. The National Highway Authority of India is in the dire need of funds to expand the road networks. Towards the end, the nodal government agency has put forth bundle of toll projects, which is TOT, Toll Operate Model. Now, let me give you a simple example of a toll operate model. The toll operate model is that National Highway Authority of India is make a road. Suppose they make a road, uh, let me give you a simple example. They make a road from, say, Delhi to Jaipur. Give me an example. Suppose the total cost of making this road is 14,000 crores for a minute. Now they wanted to monetize that. Now, now how they would monetize that? They will create a toll. They will give this to somebody who will manage the toll. Now that toll could be LNT. Any, any company can come and manage the toll. GMR, GMR and God knows. They will pay an upfront fee to NHAI. They will say, okay, this is we are paying. Or maybe sometimes it is yearly also. There are various kind of tort models. With this, they will give the entire ownership to that company and this company will manage the toll. But the story not yet ended. Here we go. What is glaring that 35% of the toll collections over the 401 kilometer seven highway stretches in the TOT4 accrues from Pimpalgao Nasik stretched in Maharashtra to Gondek. Pilpalgao, Nasik to Gondi in Maharashtra. This stretch has a history of political ag agitation that disturbed toll collections. But more important thing is that such legacy issue could have stumbling block in the National Highway Authority of India monetization plan. Besides, it plan do not met with sustained success in the past. Although TOT1 received an overwhelming response with the highest bid Macure, which is an Australian setup, 55% margin, TOT was tapped, tapped with H1 bid at 14% discount. 14% discount. While for TOT3, they have extended to 31st October, and I'm damn sure the government will extend more. And TOT not yet done, they have now extended to they are now moving for TOT4. There is one more news which we have about National Highway Authority of India, which is that they their chairperson got again changed. I was reading Times of India and got to know that in the last eight years, since I do not recall correctly, in the last eight years, more than what? I think more than seven or eight chairmen they had faced. Seven or eight chairmen is basically being changed in National Highway Authority of India. That said that National Highway borrowing plan is on the track and so on so Vice President. The budgetary allocation in the last two budget was lower than required but Nitin Gadkari never acknowledged that. They has for necessity dependent on the other and other funding revenue. Success of these bundles are critical as they would garner 9000 crores. It means MASH number one, the VC funding getting now, MASH number two, Google Pay is getting aggressive in India. They are doing humongous amount of advertisement. Match number three, National Highway Authority of India. Match number four.
Platstone crosses 12 billion investment milestone in India. We continue, continuously reporting on our YouTube channel is that, you know, when I read about Blackstone, I always remember about how East India Company grew in India. Now, you know, nowadays I'm spending a lot of time uh, reading history that what was the business model of the East India, East India Company, how they came into the, in, in India, how they won state over one state, second states, third stage and kind cities over cities, towns over towns and eventually in a very short span of time East India Company got the entire India and today India is named after East India Company but that's a different political issue. Blackstone is doing the same thing today. Now read this. Blackstone Group LP has invested 3.6 billion at the end of September which is a record. With the total investment in the new, or total investment by the New York based firm across private equity and the real estate has now crossed 12.6 billion. Blackstone aims to surpass 13 billion mark by December 19 and this turns out to be the 13 year of operation for Blackstone. This has been a blockbuster year for Blackstone in India in terms of investment the highest since set up in 2006. I am again and again telling you that the private equity player are taking strategic positions in India. I repeat, this has been a blockbuster year for Blackstone in India in terms of investment, the highest since it set up since 2006. I am not saying media is saying. More importantly, this year alone it has invested around 1.6 billion in the real estate, the largest transaction being the acquisition and the remaining stake in the, in, in the India Bulls Real Estate Limited, commercial real estate portfolio and taking complete control of over 4,000 crores. More importantly, the Blackstone played a key role in launching India's first real estate investment trust which is REIT along with its development partner Embassy Group and don't forget that Embassy Group is currently planning to invest 200 million dollars which current tentative rate roughly 1450 crores in the V-work. The Embassy Office Parks REIT is co-owned by the duo which followed by the second REIT the Blackstone is planning with that so 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 and so. Now the moral of the story is very clear. Now the moral of the story is that if you look the whole thing holistically we would get to know that things are getting shaping in such a way that sooner or later the country will end up in a mess. While the venture capitalists are not getting the funding, the international player who not got heads up, but based upon their muscle power and the technology, they are competing with Paytm in a better way. And Paytm is the number three player right now. One is Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm. And if this trend would continue, Paytm would, Paytm would be messed up soon. Third, we know that the so-called Joel of India, National Highway Authority of India is currently facing a lot of mess. Government is forced to disinvest in a profitable ventures like BPCL. Now Bharat Heavy Electrical Names is also come around. As per the newspaper, around 200 public sector units being identified by the Ministry of Commerce to, dive, to disinvest in the next upcoming time as to meet up the, tar the, the disinvestment target which is uh, around 1.16 trillion INR, closer to that. Fourth, the private equity players like Blackstone and the Brookfield are getting extensive aggressive and they have now crossed 12 billion mark in India. And I again repeat, this has been a blockbuster year for Blackstone in India in terms of investment, the highest since it set up operation in 2006. The purpose of this measure is to let you know that the economy which we are proud of, the marketing government is doing that it is reaching to 5 trillion economy. Politically or no politically, every Congress denominated and the BJP denominated state is coming up with a global conference which is the like recently we had in Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal did, Uttar Pradesh did, almost Maharashtra did, almost every government did and spending crores and crores of rupees on these conferences and God knows what is ABC. You know, um, uh, you know, how much is basically the return which we are generating out of that. If we collect all information, we would get to know that 
banks are already in crisis, the real estate are all in crisis and all these news are coming, eventually the default is not far. No, remember one thing very carefully, of course we would have a separate video on that. The draft the government came in the public domain about the revival of the BSNL and the MTNL which includes the SPOG spectrum lines to them. It also based upon the underlying formula of monetization. There are many people across the globe, those who believe that monetization is a 5 to 10 minutes agreement. There are many intelligent people who tend to believe that monetization can be done like this. And there are people who believe that monetization is nothing but a 2 months or 2 3 months job. But I am telling you the monetization is a very tough job. If the government is thinking that they can monetize NHAI, then they are mistaken. If they are thinking they can monetize the assets of another public sector concerns, they are mistaken. Because monetizers are highly professional entities. They scrutinize everything. With this, this is the first mashup we launched on the Indian economy. And according to me, the condition is very severe. And I don't think the government can do much to resolve this because I think they have already fired all the weapons they had. Example, the tax cuts and everything. I think if this trend would continue sooner or later, this mesh would wind up the show for most of the companies. I'm damn sure that sooner or later the funding which we, this most people like the car they call, the, the Zomato, the Sugi, the Paytm and all these companies are getting it could also dried up. We will see a huge, huge, huge fall in the employment across the globe. And unfortunately now the Singapore unemployment rate is also growing. I see that alongside technology and the poor governance might lead to complete Southeast Asia under the grips of unemployment. To cut the long discussion short, the degrees which we are reading, CFA, Certified Financial, uh, certified financial Analyst, CPA, Certified Public Accountant and so many degrees, they are really not concerned what is happening along. But you have degree degree. You have valuation, valuation, and note my mobile number which is plus nine one, and Indian code nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. While all details are available on our fixed income platform www .fixedincome Global. Have a great time and uh, talk soon. There are multiple videos on the cards.